and gentlemen, welcome to the Mad Freed Hour. I'm Chris O'Neill. Welcome to the stage, Mad Freed. Welcome, everybody, to the Mad Freed Hour office holiday party. Happy holidays, everybody. With nothing but the most up-to-date music you can come out to. Culture Club, Queen, Elton John, the Pet Shop Boys, and George Michael. If that doesn't say dance party, I don't know what does. It says party, but not the kind you're talking about. <laughs> I'm sure many people here are very appreciative of the works of Freddie Mercury. Am I right, people? Yes. You know, poor George is going to jail. Really? Yeah, he uh, abducted one of his rent boys for like a week and like beat him. <laughs> it's like that weekend you told me about. <laughs> what weekend? <laughs> oh, nothing. <laughs> so anyway, happy holidays, everybody. Welcome to the office party. Now, uh, in the light of what happened back in September, we've had to kind of cut costs a little bit, but please... September 11th? <laughs> no. That was, that was a few Septembers ago. <laughs> I'm talking about when the market crashed and we spiraled into a financial crisis. Actually, this recession has been building for a while. Well, I understand that, but it all... That's how, that's how, uh, by the way, that was such a weak way to come in. <laughs> what was so wrong? Now? You're like, hi everybody, culture club. <laughs> let's, go down, let's go down to the pyramid club and hang out. They're bi friendly there, it's good. <laughs> I don't know what that last statement means, but I was just trying to... Also, here, here, Todd, I'll... Show him Let's show him. <sighs> Welcome, everybody, to the Man Free Hour! Yeah! So we've got punching cookies over here, if anybody's <laughs> interested. It's uh, an old Freed family recipe, the Bud Freed special, I like to call it. So there's a little something special inside of it. I'm not going to say what, but there's no... <laughs> oh, I just thought of something, that's all. <laughs> so it's a holiday office party, is that what's going on? Yes, tonight? it's a holiday office party, that's exactly what's happening right Okay. So anyway, everybody just have some cookies. What holiday? Uh, all the holidays. <laughs> Labor Day, Arbor Day, no, St. Swithin's Day. No, Christmas, Hanukkah, Ramadan, you know, the whole thing. Yeah, no, yeah Kwanzaa doesn't exist. No, no, no. I didn't. Yeah, New York City, there no, ain't no black people here. No, <laughs> we're good. No, we're good. no, no. It's cool. No, 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 no. Oh, you, I, didn't, I didn't. I was friends with ones once. Yeah, use that line, man. <laughs> I went to school with a black kid. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool. Hatfield High, we had one. No, well, actually that's kind of true, but no. I, no, I voted, no. I didn't mean that, it was just simply, I just simply. Say you voted for Barack, it's okay. That, that makes up for everything. I did vote for Barack Obama. <laughs> well, I'm just saying some people voted for him because they believed in his, you know, his message. I, I what he's going to do for America? Yeah. Not to assuage the white guilt. Yeah, that's, no, that's all I'm, I'm saying. <laughs> yes, we can, audience of the Mad Freed Hour. Just like we made this office holiday party. What yes, the, we can. Yes, we can. What are the tenets of Kwanzaa? Uh, <laughs> uh, what does it celebrate? Harvest. It celebrates a harvest <laughs> in Africa. A, a harvest? It's a continent-wide harvest. Because uh, it's, one, it's one country there, right? <laughs> yes. The country of Africa. No. 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 I mean, okay. Uh, there's uh, there's harvest. 
There's uh, Thanksgiving. There's uh, well being. Yeah, November. There's, there's <laughs> or the week before uh, if you're in Canada. Oh, is it just me or is it hot in here? Okay. Uh, you don't okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. Right. I'm fine. Why don't we bring our first guest out? We've got a wonderful evening tonight, everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, finish it. Jug it. <laughs> Your boy George. <laughs> Man, you deflated that thing. It's like all satisfied now. <laughs> <laughs> that was like a flask. So what's in the punch? Uh, well, it's uh, my grandmother's recipe. I thought it was Bud's recipe. I'm getting to that. It was my grandmother's recipe which is a uh, fruit punch with water added to it, and then my grandfather's recipe, which is pure rum added to it as well. That was the kind of man Bud Fried was, drinking and in denial all the time. Well, I think that's an area that we can both agree on. <laughs> my last name's O'Neill. Irish, Jewish, Episcopalian, something like that. Um, You're Episcopalian. Well, I'm a mix of the two. My mother was my mother was actually Quaker, and my father was Jewish. So I like to call it the Great American Nightmare because it's like Eastern European Jew mixing with Western European wasp background. It's kind of like a. It's like you know that episode of Melrose Place. No, where, <laughs> I absolutely do not know that episode of Melrose Place. <laughs> I just know. Episode. It was. It was where Courtney Thorne Smith was dating a Jewish black guy, and they came together. And there was a lot of there was tension. There. No, go on. Then tell us how it relates to that queer as folk episode. <laughs> so we've got a great show for you tonight, everybody. Uh, we've got uh, my wonderful publicist, Miss Betsy Hoffman, is on the program. We're making this very special because it's about the people who work on the Matt Fried Hour. So Betsy Hoffman is here. Mm -hmm. We also have uh, promoting his Christmas special coming up next week right here at the pit, Jay Hobart Brown and his sidekick, Phil Wells. Jacob is also my mortal enemy, but whatever. Um, not just him. No, not just him, but a lot of people. Um, we have uh, my good friends Sam and Ben, who are rejected sidekicks and answer my fan mail. And uh, we also have the comedy of uh, my good friend, Mr. Charlie Kasoff, as well. So it's going to be a very exciting show. Why isn't anybody clapping? Yeah. Uh, I'm ready to see an exciting video. I'm, I'm ready to see one, too, actually. Yeah. We all make mistakes. Todd Rocheford in the booth, ladies and gentlemen. Where are you going? Why are you leaving? Why? No, no, please. No, don't. Don't you want it. I'm sorry, Matt. I lost your $5. It was $8, Todd. Oh, Jesus. It's funny it was a woman who ran out. Anyway. You got a money back if you leave? No, no, you don't. Oh, that case. I'm, going, I'm off to Mustang Sally. Do some shots. Happy Kwanzaa. <laughs> so, my first guest for the evening uh, is a lovely, lovely lady. I've known her for quite a few years, and really, uh, without her, none of this, you sitting in the audience right now, would be possible. Uh, she's my good friend, and we do a lot of really great activities together, like kayaking, and karaoke, and knitting together. Um, anything else that I'm forgetting about her? I don't know, you already went out singing with her and did knitting. Uh, maybe, sh you know, showing off your lingerie to her? I bought, I buy those for my, for my girlfriend who lives in Austin, Texas, uh, who's not here. Yeah, I used to work with this guy who always, like, would come in and go, man, I saw the hottest girl today. And just leave it at that. Like, that somehow made us think he was straight. I see a lot of hot girls on the streets of New York. Describe one. <laughs> Just one. One girl you saw today that you thought was cute. She's tall. She's got breasts. Uh, she's, she's... A transsexual. <laughs> no. No. Tall, 
head breast, Adam's apple, big hands. She looked like a woman from the back, I swear. Uh, but not from the front, so we should bring out Betsy, shouldn't we? Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my wonderful publicist, Miss Betsy Hoff. Betsy! Yeah.